Hey there game makers, once again we have been gifted with the gift of the newest patch and a disclaimer from my side, as usual, if you don't really need the newest update because well, the features are not so super overwhelming, um, just wait a week or two uh, after they fix the, their newest patch with a surprise hotfix as usual. So. Um, I would just wait out, but of course, if you just want to dive in and want to see like, hey, what is the newest, coolest stuff which they added? Well, two bling blinks. So the first one is a drop shadow filter, which is kind of neat. And the second one is on your sequences. You can now apply on your text the effects which were before just on SDF fonts in, in game, but now you can actually also play around in your sequence editor. If you don't know what sequences are, basically the animation tool of GameMaker, which is kind of neat. I must admit, I don't actually use it a lot, almost at all, but this is, I guess, my bad. So let's go into GameMaker and just check out. So let's say you are in this room and then uh, you just click on it and then your inspector pops up. And then uh, if you see your layers, you can apply a new effect. Um, Let's not spoil it too quickly. So let's say you have all your instances on this specific layer. Now you can actually apply, you know, an effect type. And then you, if you remember, you can just do a lot of crazy stuff. But now we got the newest one, which is hard drop shadow. And then we just drop in a shadow and then, uh, well, you can drop shadows. And then this is kind of applied on all the instances or whatever you want to apply it to. And this is kind of neat, so here play, uh, playing with Air Alpha and so on. So this is kind of a neat thing. I do like it. Has definitely some applicability in a lot of games. It's just a convenient way to do things. Then let's go to the second part in our sequence editor. So let's say you want to have some text in your sequence. So basically here, this dude here, uh, you just want to have a text. Yes. And then, I don't know, text now with x then make it a little bit bigger and for now you could just you know do the regular stuff but now you can actually apply some effects on it so glow shadow and uh, outline and then for example if you just go on the track so your text thing here you can uh, you will have more options right now um well that for example you want to have some glow let's give it a green color and uh, Glow start, glow end, I don't know, something like this. And then you can apply it, of course, please fine tune it. It looks like hot garbage when I do it right now. But you, you get my drift and then you can have an outline. Come on, let's make it super, super ugly. Yes. And then some shadow onto that. Yes. Wow. It is a beast. All right. So these are the two bling bling parts. And then you, are, you can just play around with that. So kind of cool. Um, on both ends and then what else do we got nothing too big to be honest they are first of all moving their change log from their blog to well github and then where is it well you can just go in then you can just go under milestones and then check out granular what's actually finished and what's actually happening so this is kind of neat and um well get more information if you want to check out things in advance so this is kind of a cool thing so once again more information is always good then um, some bug fixes yeah as usual so this is kind of the standard so hey neat then it's supposed to be two or three times faster concerning uh, performance on reading structs yatesy then a few new functions so why not always good then this is one of the bling bling parts you can skip on that game strip wow okay we can skip on that and type references so once again a little bit more information concerning what kind of uh, type you're having why not and then live wallpaper metrics Woo! i don't care and well that's pretty much it so once again <laughs> hopefully a comprehensive guide so just to take it away bling bling part one drop hard shadow filter cool and then uh, if you're using sequences then you can have sdf effects applied just a little caveat um you need to hello 
you need to have for example if you're for example using this font it's not enabled on default so you just enable sdf and then the effects are applied alrighty that was it from my side hopefully under five minutes almost alrighty that was it see you in the next time bye bye